What's going on everybody? My name is Gritzy and welcome back to the Team Diverge YouTube page. For today's video, we got another TD Top 5 Gaming Edition. So basically what's going down is the boys left me some questions on my phone. I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions. And then uh, you guys are going to comment down below whether you agree or disagree respectfully. Any changes you might have, you know, just leave it down in the comments. And with that said, let's get right into the video. Alright, so for the first question in this video, we got... Top 5 games of all time. At number 5, I'm gonna have to go with the whole Zelda franchise, you know, The Legend of Zelda. So, that is my number 5. Not really a specific Zelda game, but I'm gonna go with The Legend of Zelda. Grew up playing that. Love it. Number 5. At my number 4, I'm gonna have to go with Super Smash Bros. Melee. That's a classic, you know, it speaks for itself, right? I grew up playing this with my cousins. Every family gathering, you know, plugging the GameCube. Super Smash Bros. Melee, that's all we did. And I would get stomped every single time, but I loved it. So, that's my number four. At my number three, I'm gonna have to go Call of Duty. Not really a specific Call of Duty game because, you know, that's another question in the video. Spoiler alert. But, um, the Call of Duty franchise as a whole, at my number three. You know, it got me into content creation. I have to, I have to put in my number three. Pokemon, that's my number two for various reasons. I took the bus every single day and I played Pokemon every single day on the way to school for like an hour on the bus. And uh, so yeah, Pokemon number two. Number one has to be Halo. Anybody that knows me, ooh, as soon as Halo Infinite dropped, I was on that. That's what I do now. You know, catch me at HCS Anaheim competing. But um, Halo, number one franchise. Shout out to my cousins for putting me on. Ooh. Halo 3, literally my favorite game ever. So, the Halo franchise. Top 5 Call of Duty games. This one's gonna make a lot of you guys mad, and I know it because everybody says my top 5 Call of Duties are just whack. But this is what I grew up on, and this is what I liked, and this is what I had fun playing. So, at number 5, I'm gonna go with everybody's favorite, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Yep. Infinite Warfare played really well in the competitive scene. I'm putting it at my top 5. I had a good time playing it. At number 4, I'm gonna have to go with Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Specifically the zombies. You know, I was still a little early in my Call of Duty days, so I was getting rolled if I played online. But I had a lot of fun playing zombies with my cousins and stuff, doing the easter eggs. So Call of Duty Black Ops 1 is at my number 4, specifically for the zombies. At my number 3, I'm gonna have to go Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, again, because of the competitive scene, I think in this game I had like my best competitive record. We were like top five on the team ladder at one point. Game by those records like 125 and 15 or like 125 and 20, something like that. You know, it got my game battles account. <laughs> it shot me up there in ranking. So Black Ops 3 is my number three Call of Duty. At number two, I'm going to have to go with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So... I mean, a lot of people know why, right? This is like a fan favorite. I love the league play. I love the sniping. I love the maps. I love the way it played. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was great. That's my number two overall. Fight me on it. Um, number one is going to piss a lot of people off because it's not, it's not Modern Warfare 2. I'm sorry. I, I never even owned the game. I never owned Modern Warfare 2. Maybe I missed out, maybe I didn't, but my number one is Modern Warfare 3. Um, I really like the sniping, I love the ACR, I loved everything about it. And this is where one of my biggest gaming inspirations, Optic Scumpy, where I first learned about him, um, where he kind of blew up. He was dropping like triple Moab gameplays and uh, I fell in love with Call of Duty in Modern Warfare 3 and because of Optic Scumpy. So, Modern Warfare 3, my number one Call of Duty. Top 5 Pokemon games. This one will be fun. My number 5, Pokemon Yellow. The one with Pikachu on the cover. It looked like this, I had the big square version. That's my number 5. At my number 4, I'm gonna have to go with Pokemon Red. It had Charizard on the cover. Again, it was a Game Boy Color game, so it was like a big square. Loved it. Um, at my number three, I'm gonna go with Pokemon Emerald. It had the, the Rayquaza, and it was a 
It's actually a Game Boy Advance game, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, Emerald at my number three. At my number two, I'm gonna go Pokemon Crystal. Love Pokemon Crystal. That's the one with Suicune on the on the cover. Um, and at my number one, I I literally did a playthrough of this, you know, not too long ago. I'm gonna have to go with Pokemon Heart Gold. And this actually has my favorite starters, you know, of all the Pokemon games. I love Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, but come on, like, my favorite starters? Cyndaquil, Chikorita, and Totodile. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if you didn't pick Cyndaquil, please tweet at me so I can block you ASAP. Top 5 Mario games. That's the next question. So at number 4 and 5, I'm gonna put 2. They're, they're interchangeable. Like, I have, I really don't have a preference. Um, I'm gonna go Super Mario Brothers 2 and 3. Interchange them if you want. Doesn't matter. At my number 3, I'm gonna go Mario Party. I played this on the GameCube. It was a super fun, like, board game type game. For those of you that haven't played it, play with my cousins. It's all about sabotage and, you know, trying to finish first. Great game. Mario Kart at number 2. Everybody knows Mario Kart, self-explanatory. And if, if for you guys that want to know who I played as, I played as Bones, and he looked like this guy, or Dry Bones, I think is the name. I'm not, Dry Bones, he's like a turtle, but he's like, Bones? You, you guys know who I'm talking about, that's who I made. I dusted everybody, you know, if you want to play me, I'll smoke you. Number one, uh, it's kind of an older one, a lot of people won't know it, it was on the GameCube. It's called Super Mario Strikers, and it was a soccer game. And I'm not a big soccer guy, but this was one of the funnest games I've ever played in my life. And I remember even like years later, I would pick up the controller, I would plug it in, and I would just have fun all over again. Uh, Super Mario Strikers, my number one Mario game. Top five Call of Duty maps. At number five, I'm gonna go Summit from Black Ops 1. Honestly, any version of Summit, but that map, that's my number five. Um, at number four, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go firing range. I kind of know these kind of fast, but yeah. Firing range at number four. Again, any version, the Black Ops two or the Black Ops one version, they are both cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go dome from Modern Warfare three. Ooh, I love dome. So dome number three. You guys know why if you played Modern Warfare three. It was like one of the best maps. At number two, I'm gonna go Nuketown. Fan favorite, it's a classic. You can't go wrong with Nuketown. Nuketown 24 seven playlist. Every time it was out, you're spending all day grinding it, double XP. Nuketown's my number two. For my number one map of all time, I'm gonna go Terminal. Yeah, Terminal. It should explain itself, right? The trick shots you can hit on Terminal, oh my. Oh my, getting on top of the plane. Everything, everything about Terminal, amazing. That's why they brought it back so many times. Terminal is my number one Call of Duty map of all time. That concludes the TD Top 5 Gaming Edition video featuring myself. Again, my name is Gritzy. If you guys enjoyed this, you know, make sure you guys follow Team Diverge on all social medias down below. They're in the description. If you guys enjoyed me, you know, nice to meet you guys. You guys can find all my social medias down below in the description. I'm pretty active on Twitter, Instagram, you know, all that good stuff. We here at Team Diverge, we appreciate you guys. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.